As we saw in the last video, the forces can act at any point and at any plane. We have to resolve this force system to know the different aspects of it. Composition means combining number of forces into a single force which produces the same effect as all the individual forces combined. Let's learn more on that. Consider this body in a 2D plane. We have some forces acting on it. The objective is to find a single force which can replace all these forces. We call that single force as the resultant. So, how do we calculate this resultant? And where exactly will this resultant act on the body? In the system we have, there are several forces. In a 2D plane, we can resolve any force into two components, a horizontal and a vertical component. We will add up all the horizontal forces acting on the body. This is the summation of horizontal forces or sigma fx. Similarly, we add up all the vertical forces acting on the body that will be the summation of vertical forces or sigma fy. Now, we have the summation of horizontal and vertical forces. The resultant will be given by a formula. That is the square root of fx square plus fy square. This is the magnitude of the resultant and it can replace all the forces acting on the body. Along with the magnitude, we should also know the direction of this resultant. We can calculate that with a simple formula where we can get the angle at which this resultant will act. That will be theta is equal to tan inverse of sigma fy by sigma fx. So this is it about the composition of forces. You can resolve any force and get the resultant. To sum up, in this video, we learnt about resolving the forces into horizontal and vertical component and the resultant which is a single force replacing all other forces, formulas for magnitude of resultant and the angle at which it acts. In the next video, we look at law of transmissibility of forces. See you there.